Hey, Rum friends, welcome back. I should say, hey, Rum and Brandy, Cognac friends, welcome back. This this is uh, Friday the 8th. Uh, before I go any further, two things here. Mummy Barman's birthday today, so I'm filming this quite early, but whack her a little comment, say happy birthday, Mummy Barman. She hasn't put her appearance on this channel for a long, long while, but whack in the comments, happy birthday. Also, I'm going to link to a post in the, uh, maybe in the pinned comment, but mainly in the description. I've put a poll out on this channel because I have been, the whole reason I got some of these Cognacs um to try is because i'm weighing up the like time and how to do this of whether to start yet another rum channel or another youtube channel i should say dedicated to brandy and i'm saying brandy because then i can cover armagnac cognac you know spanish brandy the u.s brandy calvados poir william the uk the british stuff we are making some phenomenal brandies and um what do we call it? Cider brandies in the UK. So let me know your thoughts. I would say I'll link to that post. Go in and vote on there whether you would you'd be interested in, in learning. I, I wouldn't have the capacity to do lots of videos on that. Maybe one a week um, on there and just to kind of get the ball rolling. But let me know. Anyway, Friday, the 8th of December. Um, we, I can't, there it is. Uh, let's uh, let's hope we get some rum. I, I know the cognac, the brandy was a selfish thing for me, but it's helping heavily loaded up front with brandies um out of the eight so far it's been four brandies so uh let's hope we have a good run of rums in here uh oh i'm excited about this one i am excited about this one let's hold this up to the close-up uh and then i will put the picture on screen of what this actually is so this is a rum we are back to the rums and this is as far as i'm aware um salvador um, Salvadorian rum, how if you, El Salvador, rum from El Salvador, let's call that. I don't know how you say it properly. I've always said Chiatan. Um, I, I don't know. But this is the Sinaparillo 12 year old. Now, this does a very, very slightly break my um, 50 pound limit on the, on the channel, but only just. So we are at 53.99 from my good friends at Master of Malt who have very kindly this month. Let me pick my own advent calendar then make my own advent calendar. But as I've said all the way through this, I've done this eight, nine weeks ago now, and I've got flipping no idea of what I actually picked in there, apart from the fact that there should have been seven cognacs and brandies, and the rest of them, like 17 of them, should be rums, all under that sort of £50 mark that I haven't had properly before. So, uh, without further ado, let's look at the price of this. So, 50, so round up, £54 from Master of Malt. That translates, this is how much we would pay um, in here in the UK. 68 US dollars, 62.5 euros, 103 Australian dollars, and 92.5 Canadian dollars. So, I don't know whether that's expensive. I don't know whether like how available this rum is around the world. I have seen it quite a lot, but whether that's because I've seen it in the UK, uh, I don't know. I don't know whether you get this in the US. I don't know whether you get this in Europe. Um, let me know. Give me a thumbs up, thumbs down in the comments of how you, whether you've seen this range with the brands and what you think to them. So while I'm uh, just about to pour this into the glass, let me just give you the little bit of spiel that obviously... Chi chi tan? Someone put it phonetically for me in the comments. Chi 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 I don't know. Chi tan, Sinabro, 12-year-old. Uh, another top edition from the Chiatan range, El Sal oh, sorry, El Salvador rums, all of which are inspired by Mayan legends. A Sinaparillo is a reference to the colour red, uh, which you'll have seen from the bottle that I would have put on screen, uh, which was historically made using mineral cinnabar, uh, known as Sinaparillo. Uh, this is also regarded as good omen. The rum has spent 12 years in American oak bourbon barrels, imparting creamy sweetness among with richer toasty and notes so this could have gone too far for me uh, but let's find out let's have a little smell and a little taste so immediately off the nose i'm going sweet uh, vanilla and orange uh, they're the big two aromas that come off the nose definitely those flavors do outweigh uh, any sort of 12 year old barrel aging on there i dare say from the aroma i'm expecting this to be slightly dosed a little bit of sugar added to this uh, I'm also getting like a sweeter sort of caramel vibe to this, but it is very dominant in orange, very dominant in uh, vanilla. Not so much, um, what was it? Not so much like the pirate right at the start. That was very heavily oranged. 
you know, almost orange flavoured. This is just like a loose aroma of orange, but that is dominating that flavour. So not really juicy and vibrant in your face, but it's the dominant aroma. If I spend a bit more time with that, I dare say I might get a little bit of sort of tropicaliness to it. But I, at this moment, I am struggling to get past that orange and vanilla. I think I could be here for another, you know, another five, ten minutes and not get too much more. It's a, it's a caramel sweetness and it is orange and vanilla. Right, let's get it down the next. Now, I'm quite excited by this. 12 years old, it hasn't gone too far for me. And I dare say it's because it has been very lightly dosed. I wouldn't say heavily dosed, but I would, I would imagine that there's a little bit in there. It's nowhere near as sweet and as upfront in your face to burst the juicy oranges to pirate that we had on the 1st of December, but it has got a bit of orange up there. But it also gives you a lot of tropical fruit up there as well. I get, I get a little bit of spice, a little prickle of heat from barrel aging, but nothing that would put me off. And as I've said time and time again, I do like lighter aged rums because I don't like that wood that soggy wet wood, that real sort of oaky prickle spice that you get off longer aged rums. I've got a nod to that in here, but it is, it is kind of on my limits. And I dare say there's been a little bit of something added to it to kind of just mellow that out slightly. At face value for the vast majority, the mass market, that's a delicious rum. I don't need, you know, I'm just thinking of use cases for this. Probably a neat sipper more than anything. A uh, mass market neat sipper. I don't think you need to add sugar to that for a rum fashioned. I think dilution stirred down with an ice cube and maybe your favourite bitters. I would love to put some chocolate bitters with that to kind of get a chocolatey orange vibe going down. That would probably be my limits for a cocktail on that. I think, you know, if you put too many other flavours with that, I think you are going to kind of lose what it's all about. For me... 100% neat sipper, mass market level, with a little bit of sweetness, bit of tropical fruit, orange dominant up top, vanilla dominant up top, maybe a light, a little hint of sort of carameliness up there. That might be the sweetness that's been added to that. What did we say for? I'm 50, right, okay. 50 plus pounds a bottle. This is going to be a tough call for me to judge, actually. So let's just break this down. Face value. Is that something I enjoy sipping neat? Yes. Is that something I personally am going to grab of an evening just to have a, a glug of? Yes. Would that... Does it offer me something different like from... I'm, I'm kind of... The competition that I would put this up against, rightly or wrongly... Is Plantation XO. That's kind of the level of sweetness, maybe, that you kind of get off there. I would say that this is more fruit forward, uh, possibly with the addition of fruit. I'm, I don't know. that, that That's a magician that gets those sort of flavours from barrel aging. Um, I would possibly say that flavours may have been added to that because that is very vibrant again nothing remotely close to that pirate the orange i'm getting off the pirate but that is very up there so i'm not comparing it like for like to plantation xo i am putting it in that camp you know the 50 pounds obviously the price is the first reason and um, the level of sweetness is the second reason it's an easy going kind of drink and i think mass market wise I think this is a good step up from your your sort of very sweet spiced rums, your bamboos, your Don Pappas, and all that. I think that's a step up from them. I say you do, it's not overly sweet. You do get a little bit of sort of peppery barrel aging across the back of your tongue. But I think a lot of people are going to enjoy that. I, you know, it's, I, I'm going to cut to the chase. My price point for this would be forty pounds, and um, because of that sweetness, I I think if that was a forty pounds rum, I would have no hesitations in recommending that. 
I think 50 plus pounds is a little bit of a stretch too far. Um, especially as it's, you know, comes from not a mass produced country, but it's not, they don't have the same level of, you know, of taxes and all that that we do in the UK for the British distillers. I think the British distillers at 40 at 50 pounds are producing a greater quality of rum than what this is, if that makes sense. But because of the tax in the, and the distillers tax and all that that goes on in the UK, you know, those 40 to 50 pound rums in the UK, you would probably potentially in real world money potentially be closer to 30 pounds. You know, what Barbados, what Jamaica can produce for 30 pounds. So that's kind of where I'm getting at. I think it's a little bit overpriced for what it actually is, but don't let that detract from the taste. Definitely a mass market rum. Yeah, not one for the rum connoisseurs, definitely not. Um, but enjoyable. I personally wouldn't buy a bottle of this um, because, again, I would take my Plantation XO, probably add orange bit if I wanted this pro profile, probably add a touch of orange bitters, not Angostura, maybe my um, orange tree or Bob's orange and mandarin bitters, but the orange tree I was thinking from his better's bitters to give it a softer orange vibe. And I've got nearly the same thing with a really lovely rum plantation xo uh or the rl seal to be honest um but yeah face value christmas present you know that's there's nothing wrong with it at all pretty delicious um just a little bit too much money for my liking